Hi, Kai Life Yogis. Welcome to your yoga practice. Welcome to your yoga mat. My name is Jenny, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today, I'm going to share with you my full moon yoga ritual. This is a practice that I love to do in those days surrounding the full moon, that really powerful time during our moon phase. The full moon is a great time just to check in with where you're at, all the hopes and dreams that you have, all the things that you're trying to create, and let go of the stuff that's no longer serving you. So hopefully in this practice today and any little rituals that you want to surround your yoga practice with during the full moon, you can really take a good hard look at all the things that are maybe holding you back and that you could let go of moving forward to try to get closer to your dreams and all the things, again, that you'd love to create. In today's practice, we are going to use one to two yoga blocks. Always good to have two. Just place them on either side of your mat so that you're ready for them. And they're there for you in case you'd like to use them during your practice. Also, during the moon practices, I really like to have some simple meditative music. A lot of times, a singing uh, singing bowl can be really nice or something that's just super deep and not distracting. So there is a playlist link below for a sound bath, and it's a wave-infused, um, I think, singing bowl sound bath. So that might be really nice to add to your practice today. Just click on that link, and you can get it going with this video. I will meet you sitting hips to heels in Seiza pose. All right, yogis, so we are starting here in Seiza pose. It's a simple position, just sitting hips to heels. Um, you might want to grab a block for underneath your hips. We are going to be taking some movement through Seiza pose, but we'll be here for at least a few breaths just to kind of integrate, check in during this full moon phase. So place that block underneath you if that feels better on your knees. Draw your hands towards heart center and close your eyes. Take an inhale breath. Feel your heart lift up towards the sky. Exhale and allow your shoulders to roll down your back. Continue to find some really lengthy inhales and exhales here. And take a moment as you settle your thoughts down to gaze back at the past month, to gaze forward at the things that you would like to create, the things you're working towards. And take a note of the things that maybe are holding you back a little bit. The things that get in your way of your dreams. Maybe that you can even let go of. Sit with your long inhales and exhales here. And after you notice those thoughts, after you notice those things, try to let them go, getting more and more present in your mind. And you can certainly use this as a meditation Pause your video for a moment and sit here for 5, 10, 15 minutes even, just taking a gaze back, taking a gaze forward, noticing all the stuff. When your mind feels a bit more clear, you're back towards the present moment, you've kind of digested that all, then lightly flutter your eyes open. And we'll take this block out from underneath us for our movement Reach your hips back towards your heels. Take an inhale breath. Open mouth, exhale. Then seal your lips together for ujjayi pranayama, that calming oceanic breath that resonates from the back of our throat. As you seal your lips together, you'll inhale through your nose. Exhale back out your nose. On your next inhale breath, reach your hips up above your knees. Send your hands up to the sky. So come to standing on your knees. Feel your heart lift. 
and exhale. We're melting back to a variation between child's pose and embryo pose. So hips reach back towards your heels, hands reach in front of you. Inhale, breath, roll through tabletop position to a variation of cobra pose. Hips come down towards the ground, hands underneath your shoulders, lift high through your heart. Then tuck your toes on your exhale breath, reach your hips back to downward facing dog. Take a few moments in this first down dog, crack your toes, bend through your knees, feel your head get heavy. Then plant your hands down into the ground, really reach your hips up high to the sky, ground your heels down into the ground. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, we'll come back towards a seat, hips towards your heels, hands towards heart center. We'll flow through this twice. Next inhale breath, lift your hands up high, stack hips on top of your knees. Exhale, fold your hips back down. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift hips high to downward facing dog. Hold for your inhale breath. Exhale, sit your knees, your hips back down, draw hands to heart center. Inhale, lift hips up, lift your heart up. Exhale, forward fold, melt your hips back. Inhale, cobra pose, open up your heart. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Hold for your inhale breath. Open mouth, exhale, holding your down dog. Let's take another breath like that. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Seal your lips together. Ujjayi, inhale. Ujjayi, exhale. On your next inhale, prepare. We're going to tiptoe forward towards a ragdoll pose. Take a moment to open your feet out, hip width distance, maybe mat width distance. Allow your head to get heavy. Bend your knees as much as you need. You can reach for opposite elbow here. If you'd like some extra expansion through your chest, we're doing a lot of heart opening. You can definitely interlace all 10 fingers behind you and reach your palms gently away from your hips. Take a couple more breaths here. If you've taken that interlaced grip, gently release your hands. Place your palms back down on your mat. Toe heel your feet together. On your next inhale breath, with hands at heart center, rise up tall to mountain pose. Hands reach over your head. Find a steeple grip by interlacing all 10 fingers, releasing your pointer fingers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tilt over to the right side, lifting up and away from your hips. Inhale, center. Exhale, lift through your heart. Maybe release your hands and cactus your arms. Feel the length in your spine. Inhale, draw your hands back up towards steeple pose. And exhale, crescent lunge. Reach your left leg back behind you. Sweep your arms back towards an airplane variation. Inhale, arms lift high to crescent lunge. Exhale, open up warrior two. Take a moment to take up some space between your feet. Get strong through your warrior two. Root down through both heels. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten through your front leg. Lift your right arm up to the sky. Feel that stretch along your side body. And exhale, triangle pose. This might be where you would like a block. Right hand reaches down to your shin or towards a block at the inside of your leg. Send your gaze where it feels good. Feel lengthening along your right side body instead of compression and settling down into it. Feel that lift. Inhale, star pose. Reach towards center. 
Send all of your toes towards the side wall, arms lift up high. And exhale, goddess pose. Hands come back down through heart center. Inhale, lengthen, star pose. And exhale, hands back through heart center for a forward fold. Tilt into your prasarita. Bend your knees as much as you need. Send your weight forward towards your toes. Again, let your head get heavy. Option again for a chest expansion here if you'd like to open through your heart further. Gently release your hands. If you've taken that chest expansion, we'll take skandasana towards the back of our mat, so towards your left leg. Bend through your left leg, flex through your right toes. And exhale back through prasarita. Inhale to your low lunge towards your front foot. And exhale, open up towards a lounging lizard. So you're turning your front toes towards a 45 degree angle, opening up through your top arm and flip onto the knife side edge of your back foot. Inhale back towards slow lunge. And exhale, sweep your back foot up towards a forward fold. We'll repeat this on the left side before we flow through it. Inhale, hands through heart center, up towards mountain pose. Exhale in your steeple grip position, this time up and over to the left side of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, huge lift through your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, sweep your arms back, crescent lunge, right leg lengthens back behind you. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Take up that space again on your mat. Activate through both heels. Straighten through your front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Keep length in your body as you tilt. Hand reaches towards your shin or towards your block. Inhale, star pose. Reach tall. Exhale, toes face out, 45 degree angle. Take a deep bend through your knees. Goddess pose. Inhale, star. And exhale, forward fold, prasarita melt right back down towards where you left off. Send your weight forward towards your toes. Again, option for chest expansion, interlacing your fingers, maybe cross opposite thumb on top. And continue to send your weight forward as you gently reach your hands away from your hips. Gently release through your grip. Move towards skandasana, towards the back of your mat. And exhale, back through prasarita. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, open up, lounging lizard. Turn your front toes at a 45 degree angle. Flip onto the knife side edge of your back foot. Open up through your arm. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, step up, forward fold. Beautiful job, yogis. So we're going to flow through this moon salutation two times. Definitely allow your breath to be strong. Definitely feel those huge heart openers, those huge side bends. Come back to your intention, the things you're dreaming about, the things you are ready to let go of. Exhale out your breath. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, send your hands to the right, hips to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lift through your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, extend your left leg back, sweep your arms back, crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your arms, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess pose. Send your hips down. Inhale, star pose. Reach high. 
Exhale, prasarita, melt down, let it go. Inhale, skandasana towards your back leg. Exhale, forward, fold back to center. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, open up. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, step your back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise tall. Exhale, up and over to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lift through your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, sweep your arms, lengthen your right leg back, crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms high. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, star pose, open up. Exhale, goddess pose, take it down. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, skandasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, open up. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, send right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, lift through your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, crescent lunge. Sweep your arms, lengthen your leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, skandasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, open up. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, bend left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, lift your heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, crescent lunge, right leg reaches back. Inhale, lengthen your arms. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, full triangle. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, prasarita. Inhale, skandasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, open up. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Take a second in your forward fold here. Maybe bending through one knee and then the next. Again, if you're still craving more heart opening, you can interlace your fingers. Draw your hands away from your hips. Let your head get heavy. And reach your hands back down. We'll sit down 
towards ball of yarn. So you're tucking, you're bending through your knees, tucking your forehead in towards your knees. And then sit your hips down towards your mat. Grab your block on the way down. This is definitely some time for extra yin yoga. If you'd like to stay here in your practice and really settle things down, you can bring in whatever yin poses that you would like. I highly recommend some really heart opening poses. We're going to go into a supported fish pose right now before we find our final Shavasana. So one to two blocks for this. You'll place one block um, along your spine in between your shoulder blades. The other block you might like to take with you as you lay down for underneath your head. And just notice how it feels, what height you'd like your block at today, how much heart opening you're craving will determine if you use that block underneath your head. You can definitely keep your legs outstretched. If you prefer, you can draw your heels in towards your hips, reach them towards the outside of your mat, and allow your knees to draw in towards one another. If you're craving a lot more opening, you can send the soles of your feet together. Reach your knees out wide into a reclined butterfly position. And take an inhale breath. Exhale, melt down. This is a really strong time in your practice to gaze back at all of the thoughts you had in the beginning of your practice, your intention. Come back to it right now. You can absolutely stay here in supported fish pose for longer with those thoughts if you'd like. And as I said again, this is a really, really nice time now that you've moved, you've warmed up, you've opened your heart a bit um, to come down in your practice and spend more time if you have it with some yin yoga. Otherwise, we'll start to push up through our forearms, pulling yourself up off of your block and set your blocks to the side. For final Shavasana, lay down on your spine. Take up some space on your mat. Reach your arms out. Lift your palms up to the sky. Exhale out your breath. And take a massive inhale. Feel your heart lift. Open mouth, side out, exhale. Please stay in your final Shavasana if you can for longer. When you're ready to move out of it, begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle through your fingers. And roll over towards your favorite side, towards a fetal position. And take a moment there, letting your head rest on your bicep. As you're ready for more movement, start to press your palms into the ground. Draw yourself back up towards Seiza pose where we started our practice today. Come seated, hips to heels. Feel your heart lift to the sky. Roll your shoulders back down. You can keep your palms down on your thighs or your hands to heart center. Reach your hands to your third eye center if you prefer. Exhale out your breath. And take a huge inhale again. Feel your heart lift up. Open mouth, exhale. One more inhale together. Lift your hands up to third eye center. And 
exhale, bow down to your beautiful practice today for showing up on your mat. Namaste, yogis. Thank you so much for joining me and for sharing in my full moon ritual. I love to practice this every month during the full moon, and it's fun to incorporate it with some other rituals that maybe you kind of crave around the full moon, and we definitely have some information about that on the Kai Life. I'll post some links below. So develop your own, see what feels good, and kind of start to make it into that ritual, those pieces that you build together and theme it out for yourself. Please, if you liked this video, hit the subscribe link below. You'll see our logo. Click that guy and hit subscribe. We so appreciate it as we're trying to build up our channel and bring you more and more content every week. You can also click the link below to sign up for our weekly love letter. We send only love to your inbox. No junk at all. Only good stuff. Only high vibe content. And I can't wait to see you on your yoga mat again. Thank you and have a beautiful full moon.